you horror fans, once again, it's the Horror Miser Money G, and I'm here to do another tag video. Yes, this is a very interesting run. It is the Originals versus the Remakes tag. <laughs> now, I was tagged by my good friends Lisa Loves, Lisa uh, Davey, and Sean Urshan from the Horror Corner. <laughs> yes, I finally got that one, Sean. <laughs> yes, uh, they tagged me. Uh, this video tag is actually from Movie Time Reviews. Uh, they came up with this uh, tag. And it's basically a simple tag. There are 27 questions, or 27 movies, along with a bonus question. And it is basically simple. What do you like better, the original or the remake? <laughs> and, uh... Just to give a short synopsis about my feelings about remakes and originals, and I've said this before, they're going to get made. It's just the way Hollywood is now. I mean, come on now. I just saw on the new I just saw on online that there that there's a remake of the bad seed. <laughs> and that was remade uh, back in 85, 1985, there was a remake of the bad scene, and the remake again, uh, and it's a goddamn TV movie starring, uh, I think Rob Lowe stars, and I think he directed, it's going to be a lifetime of all things, oh boy, you know that's not going to be good, but uh, what are you going to do, they're just going to be remade, it doesn't matter how, how well known the property is, it's just that's what Hollywood's thing is now. They figure that, hey, it's a new audience. They, most of the people have not probably seen the original or have not even heard of the original. So they're going to get remade. You know, just don't touch the Exorcist or Jaws, people. No, those two properties, you better not remake them. But it's going to happen. But I digress. Let's get on with the tag video. Now, here we go. Now, we got the first one is the Amityville Horror. Now, for this one, I'm going to have to pick the remake. Now, I have no problem with the original. I think it was James Brolin, I believe, and I can't remember the other person who starred in it, but uh, it, it was okay, but it kind of was a slow burn and really nothing happening other than to get out! Uh, demonic voice that we heard on the witch column, but uh, the remake which stars Ryan Reynolds and Melissa George that was actually pretty good. It had some good uh, performances by Ryan Reynolds, had some decent uh, uh, jump scares, had some very creepy effects, especially that creepy girl with the bull in her head, and it actually stuck more to the faith of the story of the DeFeos and their son killing them because the voices told him he had to murder his families. And I thought that was pretty good. So I would see the remake for the Amityville Horror. Uh, question number two, Black Christmas. Uh, now, a lot of people hated the remake. I thought it was okay, but you got to go with the original, you know, old school horror. I'm a sucker for old school horror. Most people know that. So definitely go with the original for Black Christmas. Uh, question number three, uh, actually movie number three, Dawn of the Dead. No, I actually enjoyed Zack Snyder's version of Dawn of the Dead. He kind of stuck with the same material, but he had what we now call running zombies. And I always thought that's a great threat to have the zombies run because they don't know how to tire. I mean, he had one part where there was a zombie running with half his arm, but yet he was still running. <laughs> but uh, nothing compared to George A. Romero's original Dawn of the Dead. So we got to go with George A. Romero and the original. The next one is uh, The Evil Dead. Now, I really, truly uh, love uh, the remake of Evil, which simply just called Evil Dead. I actually loved it. I thought it was a fantastic uh, remake, and it holds its own place in horror. Uh, but again, you got to go with the original. Sam Marini, uh, Bruce Davids, <laughs> Bruce Campbell. I'm sorry about that, Bruce Campbell. you got to love that original. Uh, next, The Fog. No doubt about it. The original, enough said. Let's go move on. <laughs> now, I actually thought that this next one is interesting. Friday the 13th, parts 1 through 3 versus the remake. Now, obviously, that's because the remake actually encompasses the first three parts of Friday the 13th. Yeah, you know, uh, in, the re in the remake, you actually see Jason without his hockey mask. He has a Bullet, uh, I guess you can call it some type of potato sack over his head, and eventually gets his uh, hockey mask later on in the film. But I guess about the second act, 
And uh, uh, that's the reason why you have the first, the one, two, three versus the remake. And like I said, that's why I, uh, that's why they have the remake. And as much as I liked the remake, a lot of people didn't like it, but I did like it. I thought it was a very nice representation uh, of, of Jason and his backstory. Uh, but of course, you, you got to go with the originals. <laughs> uh, Fright Night, the original starring Chris Sarandon and um, Rodney McDowell, and the remake that stars, I think, was. Um, can't remember the actor's name and Carl, uh, Colin Farrell, as much as and of course you know Doctor Who fame David Tennant as Peter Vincent, and as much as I did like the remake of Fright Night, you got it with the original. <laughs> Next one is oh oh it's Halloween and boy oh boy, and I feel sorry for Rob Zombie. I actually had no problem what he was trying to do with Halloween. He was trying to give. Uh, Michael Myers, a more definitive background story, uh, and I like what he tried to do in the first half of Halloween. Unfortunately, uh, by the time we see Michael growing up and is an adult, he just simply just did shot for shot. I, I guess about the second to third act of Halloween, and that was kind of a downer for me. And uh, nothing compares to the original. So again, we have the original for Halloween. Next, The Hills Have Eyes. Now, as much as I actually appreciate what Rush Craven did for uh, the, the original, I actually have to go with the remake. Uh, it's definitely brutal. It's definitely brutal. Uh, it's more intense. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, the, the original is very wild. It's fantastic. Uh, but I actually have to go with the remake of with The Hills Have Eyes. Uh, next, we have The Hitcher. <laughs> now, a lot of people did not like the remake of The Hitcher, but I did appreciate what Sean Bean did in The Hitcher. He was very uh, frightening. He he uh, he was uh, bloodthirsty. He was cold-blooded in the picture. He just killed with uh, he just killed with abandon. Uh, he was psychotic. Probably not as good as Rutger Howe's performance in The Hitcher. And uh, once again, I have to go with the original. Uh, number uh, number eleven, we have a house of wax. Oh, no brainer! <laughs> you can't top Vincent Price. <laughs> as much as uh, I kind of didn't have a problem with the remake of the House of Wax, uh, but you can't top the original. Number twelve, here we go again. The House on Haunted Hill. Now, keep in mind, I actually did like the remake of The House of Haunted Hill. I actually like, I think it was Jeffrey Rush. I might have his wrong. And uh, Frankie Jensen, I like the, their characters, like how they play off as a married couple. But again, you can't top Vincent Price. So you got to go with the original. <laughs> uh, next one, I Spit on Your Grave. Now, as much as I appreciate the original one, the only problem I had with the original one is how easily she was able to set up the men to get the revenge on. I mean, they deserve what they got, but I just felt some of the way that she got them was kind of unbelievable. But uh, I this one I had to go with the remake. Uh, yes, the rape scenes are brutal. There's nothing funny about rape. The rape scenes are brutal in both movies, but I definitely love Sarah Butler's performance in the remake, and she definitely, <laughs> definitely does some brutal stuff to her assailants, uh, especially the, the so-called sheriff, <laughs> people who've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. So definitely the uh, remake for that one. Uh, let's see, the next one is The Last House on the Left. Now, uh, I remember uh, saw in the previews for The Last House on the Left, and of course, you know, the best line that they had, the tagline, they said, to avoid fading, keep repeating, it's only a movie, it's only a movie. It's only a movie. It's only a movie. <laughs> it cracked me up. Uh, for the, for this one, I'm gonna have to actually um, I'm gonna have to stick with the original. On this one, I had no problem with the remake. Uh, uh there was some uh, unbelievability in the end of the picture that I thought didn't make any kind of sense. But I had to go with the original for our last house on the left. Uh, number fifteen. Now, this is going to be a difficult one. My bloody Valentine. Now, I actually did love the remake. I actually have it saved on my external hard drive. Uh, I love it. I thought it was a very uh, interesting take on the um, 
for the storyline. It pays so homage to the original. Um, I love uh, uh, what's this, the guy from Supernatural. I can't remember his name. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'll think about it later. Um, I like his performance in it. Uh, but got to go with the original. <laughs> Uh, let's see, we have number 16's Night of the Living Dead 60s versus the 90s version. Now, the one thing I don't like about remakes is when they do shot for shot. And this one is quite an exception because I did like the performance. I think Tony Todd stars in the remake, and uh, I like what they did in the remake, but it's George A. Morrell. Got to go with the original with this one. Number 17 is A Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, boy. <laughs> now, I don't have a problem with Jackie Earl Haley's performance as Freddy. Uh, he was very menacing. Uh, I'm glad that he did not try to cop off of Robert Ingram's performance. He gave Freddy his own style. He was very menacing. He was very cold. He was very calculating. But, oh, God, Katie Mara, oh, boy, she was awful. She ruined this whole movie. So, of course, got to go with the original with this one. Next is The Omen. Oh, boy, here's another one. They did another shot-for-shot -shot remake, which I can't stand. The only thing good about The Omen was the kid that played Damon. He was creepy-looking. He's definitely a creepy-looking kid. Not like the cute kid that they had in the original. But, of course, got to go with the original with this one. Uh, number 19 is Poltergeist. Now, uh, I, uh, the remake was okay. It really didn't do anything for me. So we got to go with the original. Uh, here we go again. Psycho. The remake. <laughs> Come on. Vince Vaughn. Vince effing Vaughn. Oh, you talk about miscast. Uh, original, enough said, move on. Let's see, 21, The Stepfather. Now, I don't know why they remade this movie. But they can't, they can't like I said, they're going to get remade. And, it, and, it, and this definitely was a PG-13 crap fest. Um, really no originality, no nothing. Um, I, I think it was Dylan something, the guy was on Nip Tuck. He plays uh, Stepfather. Uh, come on, you can't top Terry O'Quinn's performance as a stepfather, so definitely the original. Now, this one's going to be pretty interesting. The next one is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Now, um, I actually really like the remake. I thought it was brutal. I thought it was uh, very, I like the visuals in it. Uh, I like uh, the performance of the guy that played Leatherface. I like uh, Jennifer Beals. Uh, she was great as the final girl. I truly like how they set up this whole, uh, how they set up the uh, whole thing. It was a very, very well-made remake. Um, but of course, you can't top Toe Poopus uh, and his and, and what he did with the, uh, the original. So as much as I love the remake, got to go with the original for this one. Let's see, number 23, When a Stranger Calls, uh, original, enough said, move on. <laughs> number 24, Carrie, again, uh, I have no problem with Chloe Moret, oh boy, I can't, <laughs> oh boy, we know what I'm trying to say, I have trouble, I don't know why I have trouble pronouncing her name, Chloe Moret, Mertz, whatever how you pronounce her name, she was okay. I, I really didn't have a problem, but you're not going to stop CC Space uh, CC SpaceX performance as Carrie original. Uh, let's see. Now here's an interesting thing. Twenty five is the fly. Now, as much as I like the practical effects they did and Jeff Goldblum's performance in the fly, I gotta go with the original because that was just fascinating. I mean, you can't help but that ending. Because as much as uh, I like, like I said, love the practical effects and love the uh, how he mutates into the fly. Because the difference is, unlike the original, where uh, you just had the hand and the head of the human of the doctor, here the guy actually uh, Jeff Bloomfield's character is actually mutates into a fly, and uh, that's what we see in the final uh, in the final act of the film. But you can't top that performance. At the end of the original fly, when the uh, fly is about to be eaten by the spider, and the guy's screaming, and the spider's and the fly's head 
They're screaming out, Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I saw that when I was a kid, and it, it cracked me and my brother up when we watched it. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, boy. Prom night. Uh, what can I say? Uh, what am I talking about? Oh, God. <laughs> Remake suck. Jamie Lee Curtis, Leslie Nielsen, original. Enough said. Move on. Ah, here we go. Number 27. It. <laughs> you know, as much as I love, um, Tim Curry's performance is Pennywise. You can't forget that ending in the second part with that paper machete goddamn crappy ass spider. Now I understand it's the 80s and it's a TV movie and they probably didn't have the budget in order to do something with the final, uh, the creature's true form. But come on, you could have done something in that paper ass machete spider. Oh God, that sucked. <laughs> Uh, but Billy Skarsgård's performance as uh, Pennywise the Dancing Clown and the performance of the children and of course my favorite part, you'll flow too, you'll flow too, you'll flow too. <laughs> you gotta go with the remake. <laughs> and uh, alright, now we have the bonus question. Now, I actually thought this was interesting, the bonus question. The bonus question is the mummy. Now we have uh, the 1932 version. Well, we saw as far as call off, but we have the 1990s, 1999 version that starred Brendan Fraser, and of course we have 28, 20, 2017's uh, Tom Cruise's version. <laughs> well, we know we're not going to pick that one. Now, I truly love uh, Brendan Fraser's The Mummy. I actually thought it was a fascinating film. Um, yeah, you do have some um, real creepy effects, and I thought Arnold Russo's performance as Imhotep was fantastic. I love the special effects. They really don't hold up today, but I actually have the DVD of all three movies on DVD, and I watch them every now and again. But, uh, and everybody knows that the first horror movie I saw as a child was The Mummy, Brawls Call Up, Universal Monsters. You can't top that. <laughs> it's a fantastic movie, so I gotta pick that one. And so, there you have it, my horror fans. That is the original versus remake uh, tag video. I want to thank uh, Sean Urshan and Lisa uh, Davey for tagging me. And I want to thank uh, Movie Time uh, Movie Time Reviews, uh, Review Movie, whatever. <laughs> movie Review Time for coming up with such a very nice tag. And now comes the time where I actually have to tag somebody. And um, let's see, who shall I tag? You know what? I would like to see uh, Gory and Danny, my good friends over at Horror Addicts, to do this tag. So I'm going to tag you on this one. And I think I think somebody tagged Queenie on this one already. I don't know if I would tag her. Uh, I might also tag my good friend uh, Vicky Nightmare Maven. I'm going to tag her as well. I don't know who else I'm going to tag, but I'll just do what I normally do. If you're watching this video, let's say you've been officially tagged by the Horror Mizamani Gene. If you want to do the tag, you're more than welcome. I will have a link of all the movies in the comment section uh, in the comment section below so that way you can have them so that way you can do the tag yourself. Just make sure you do give the credit to uh, movie review time. That's it's their tag. Well, that's my video for the day, guys. Hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up because it does help the channel out a lot. And once again, if this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. That way you can come and enjoy the horror experience with me, the horror Mizermani G. And as always, all my social media links will be down in the description box below as well. Once again, my name is Lamont Smith, better known as the horror Mizermani G. And always remember, horror rules. <laughs> oh, by the way, are you going to purge tonight? <laughs> remember... There's only, uh, I'm making my time. <laughs> uh, there's only four hours left before Purge begins. <laughs> Does it be the Founding Fathers, a new nation reborn? <laughs> See you later. One, two, come for you.